I have a whole sales leadership flow to pinpoint that. And here's the easy answer. It's not actually that easy, but it's simple. Um, my sales leadership flow is a diagnostic tool to pinpoint what each person needs. Sales is like a staircase, step, 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 step. And you can't get to the top step without hitting every step there. You don't, there's no, there's no cheat code to like do a two-step skip in sales. There's just not. Uh, if you try, <laughs> customers reject you because it's forceful or they just didn't get there. So the number one question is, are you on track to hit your goals? If the answer is yes, no action needed. Give them a pat on the back, hoorah, go do your thing. If you're not, question number two, are you doing the daily sales activities? If they aren't, I'm not going to spend any time with them because if they can't commit to doing the work, why in the world would I commit to holding their hand? This is like staying in a dysfunctional relationship. Everyone that's listening has been in one of those. Actually, I shouldn't say everyone. Every now and again, I met the person. I was actually out to dinner with someone the other day and after training this team. He's like, oh, I met, married my high school sweetheart. I'm like, you're one in a million. So, but anyway, outside of the one person. Yeah, but I'm sure even that relationship has been very dysfunctional throughout all those years. Right? There's, there's <laughs> things that have come up. So if, they, if, if the answer is we're not on track, why in the world would I do anything else to coach this person? Because I can't determine if there's other things going on if they're not doing the activities. So we just simply sit down and say, great, you're going to do those activities by this date. And then I'm going to do an accountability check. And you can have fun with this. We want to control the environment. You can even have picture, take a picture of their knuckles on a door first thing in the morning so you know they're out in the field. So I require the team to submit evidence, so to speak. Take a photo of whatever is going to document that you're doing the work. I want to see it every day. And again, that just controls the environment because they can't cheat on that. I mean, they can, it might happen, but my point is if they come back in after a week review and they're not doing the activities, my one question is why do you continue to put time and energy into them? To me, that's a very clear indicator that it's a B problem, the wrong person. If they're not willing to do the work, that's fine. They're gone because there's nothing that you're going to do that's going to make them want to work period. So if you can't get them to do the work, they need to go find another job. And I know you're, but I'll lose my rep. Who gives a sh <laughs> It's a matter of time. They're just not going to last. I have never, ever, ever seen long-term success from a rep who's not willing to do the work. The earlier you catch it, the more you're going to save yourself. And then that flow chart continues. All right. Oh, you are doing them. Now I need to get to the next layer, which is the say, the communication piece. And I have a flow chart to understand where that's, that's the initial breakthrough needs to occur from the door to the presenting of the overcoming objections to closing. So anyway, I am, I know I'm, I, I simplify this stuff, but I really mean it because of Re how many people I've been through. Go ahead. Real quick with the do with the right activities, do you require the sales reps to, to, to lay that out? Like, what are you going to do? What is it that you need to do? Or do you sort of give that for them? Oh, I give, give it to them. Why okay. would I tell someone who's never done this before to prove to me what they can do? It's silly. You know what they need to do how many doors right. they need to dock, knock, if they're knocking doors, how many cold calls they need to make, how many, you know, what an average or reasonable close rate should be. And you can put together a daily plan. If you want to make a hundred thousand based on X fee schedule, you need X number of claims to get those claims. You need to be doing X, Y, and Z activities. Now, if people are doing that and not reaching that level, you know, it's a communication thing. You know that they're saying something wrong. They're not closing these deals and we can pinpoint that. If they're not even getting those appointments, what the hell are you going to do with them? You're going to sit down with them and help them ace their pitch when they can't even talk to someone waste of everyone's time. So, if, if they don't have a clear path, if they can't wake up in the morning and say, today I'm knocking 60 doors or 70 doors or 100 doors, if I don't know where I'm going, if I don't know what touch point I'm doing X, Y, and Z, you know, it's for you to sit there and say, hey, you tell me what you're going to do is ludicrous. They just need to have that path. And you say, are you doing this? Yes or no. Now, the one thing is if they're, if they're hitting their goals and they're not doing the activities, as long as it's legal, ethical, and customers are taken <laughs> care of, I don't care right? Then it's like, hey, if you can knock one door, close the deal, do that once a day, you are golden. So I look at this as the weight loss plan, follow it till you lose the weight. <laughs> and right. Once you're in the right shape, you can abandon ship so long as you keep the weight off.